The six-membered rings with five carbon atoms and one oxygen are known as Pyrenos rings. And we're going to look at how to draw a Hayworth projection of these Pyrenos rings from the Fischer projection. And we're asked to draw the beta anomer of D-galactose. So we have the Fischer projection of D-galactose on the slide, and D-galactose is actually an epimer of D-glucose. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to draw the ring. The ring will always have the same format. It will always be a hexagon, and the one carbon will be this little corner here, then two, three, four, five, and the corner of the hexagon between five and one is the oxygen. We will also always, always write our C6 above the ring, and C6 will always be CH2OH. So once we have our basic skeleton of this Pyrenos ring, uh, let's go ahead and assign our anomeric carbon hydroxyl. So we're told that it is beta, so that means our hydroxyl is going to be above the, above the ring, the same side as C6. So for all of these assignments of, of our anomeric carbon 2, 3, 4, we're going to have hydroxyl on one side and hydrogen on the other. The alpha or beta will tell us where the hydroxyl goes for the anomeric carbon. For C2, 3, and 4, we look at the Fischer projection, and whatever is on the left-hand side is what goes above the plane. So for C2, I have a hydrogen to the left. So for C2, hydrogen goes above the plane and the hydroxyl goes below the plane. For C3 in the Fischer projection, hydroxyl is on the left. So in the Hayworth, hydroxyl goes above the plane and hydrogen below the plane of the ring for C3. And then looking at the Fischer projection for C4, we see that hydroxyl is also on the left for C4 in the Fischer projection. So in the Hayworth projection for C4, hydroxyl goes above the plane. So carbons 1 through 4 will each have one hydrogen and one hydroxyl. Um, for the anomeric carbon, carbon 1, we have to be told whether it's beta or alpha. And then for carbon 2, 3, and 4, we just look to our Fischer projection, whatever is on the left goes above the plane and whatever's on the right goes below the plane of the ring.